What a long fight, man. I like the little music in the background, like... I like the little music in the background, like... Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, this is Help pathetic. Well. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleland. Kisara and La are already there. Rinwell, where are we? Ganis Haros, Bolron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. 
luck? If Boron's here, that means Xion's close too, right? Xion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. Void Flash, a hidden art that opens up a vacuum wave that makes enemies float in the air or easier over in it. Level four, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna be right back. We're probably gonna play for like another 30 minutes and then we'll call it a day, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry that was unexpected. I just had stuff to do. That's fine. We'll head to the village. We'll find the oodles. And I think we're gonna call it for today. But we'll see. We'll see. Definitely. Hey, he can still do his uh, impact cross thing. Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. The whole town, this, the ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intention. <sighs> Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. 
Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Probably. Uh, I wonder if Alfin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. There he is. We'll go check the owl forest sometime soon. You're Don't we worry. Check the owl forest. Alfin, boy, am I glad to see you safe. Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Shion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. Oh, they ain't ready for the shit show that he's about to say. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. <laughs> I... I remember being up on Lenegas. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Fair enough. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they <sighs> placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword, and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. Hmm. So if what you're saying about being on Lenegas is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Shion I knew from Lenegas. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. Hmm. A maiden. 
What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Shion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Shion Imeris? I mean, yeah, that's so the they're point. Distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenicus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. Hmm. And he ended up killing everybody there. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there. Weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. Law kind of gets sliding, though. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. In ancient scriptures? Years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300... But that'd make Alfin... 319 years old? <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> That's right. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. That's so weird. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. Gang gang. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined. Alfin, stop. Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Kisara. Listen. What you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Shion? We can't just... I'm... <laughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We take some time to think things through, okay? But remember... Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Party disbanded. I, do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Shion's rescue? What do the others think? All right. Well. 
we are gonna call it a day for today. Um, I'm gonna go eat and whatnot, so let's end the stream and the video by the same time. But I'll see you guys next time. I'm really intrigued to see where the story is gonna go because I knew like there was something else after. When we def when we defeat Volron, we're probably gonna go after um what was I gonna say? We're probably gonna go after uh Rene like Legan Lenegus or something. It's gonna be weird, but we'll see what happens. So far, the game had is uh it's low spots during like the the, the last realm, but the, it, I feel the story is coming up and it's gonna be good. So, thank you for bearing with it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>